Adina 6 TV, episode 16. Hi, gang. How we doing? Guest star. No lipstick today because I'm working all day. <laughs> lipstick, she's wearing it for me. This is my fabulous friend since the fifth grade, sixth grade, Carolyn Lupo. Hi, guys. She seems so much younger than me when, when it was in, in grammar school because you were in like a grade, low, grade lower than me. Two grades. Two lower. grades. So, see, two grades. She's throwing it in my face all the time. <laughs> Two grades. Two grades. <laughs> but now, as, you know, as the years have gone by, we've become so close. And I've been talking a lot on Dina 6 TV about the Star Whisperer. That's me. That's her. The Star Whisperer. <laughs> so she's, she's in California. Her daughter's a fabulous, fabulous actress. writer, actress. Web series phenomenon. She's gonna be on the show too. Oh, Olivia Batista. That's so right. exciting. I even got her by the right name, Carolyn Lupo Batista. Batista. I called her. I, I yes. did you see me? I put it on the episode. I know, and I you took it back. Take it but back. it is Carolyn Lupo. It is Carolyn okay. Lupo. So we're having lunch. We're having lunch. <laughs> she bu she's buying me lunch. I'm older than her, but she refuses to let me pay for lunch until I graduate school. <laughs> she's been going on forever, though. <laughs> I don't really think she's in school when is anymore. She, gonna <laughs> she just needs a free meal. I just need a free meal. Look, I should probably be a boy all day. We do it's so fast. Lunch, dinner. Oh, all kidding aside, Carolyn, you know, when she comes into town, uh, Beverly Hills Hotel. What was that other? I know crazy? we were there at the Beverly Hills. You were there at the Beverly Hills, but the, we were at the poolside. Yes. But the next time with the uh, like the guy who was like worth billions of dollars with the two cars out there. Oh, we were at the Beverly Wilshire. The Beverly Wilshire with uh, the one and only who was the the oh. king of somebody was there next to you. He was the Sultan of somewhere. Sultan of somewhere. But he was. He was crazy now. He was crazy. Yeah. And he eventually got arrested <laughs> and deported. <laughs> but they were had the suite next to next to him. Yes, we were. And he still. actually had his assistant come over and a bouncer with a cooler because he had his own drinks. It had to be his specific beer. Yeah, this not specific ours. Beer. You know, it's just so wonderful to spend time with her. But I wanted to tell her who I got to see. I can't wait. I work I worked the governor's awards. I know. I'm I worked jealous. the governor's awards. I am jealous because I am the star whisperer. So, and I thought, I think of her every time because the minute I recognize somebody, but there were so many stars there, there was no way that you could, I mean, you would take two who, steps. Who did you say? You take two steps, Eddie Murphy. You take another two steps, Gina Davis. You take another two steps, yep. Sophia Loren. Isabella Rosalini. Rosalini. Yes, who is Ingrid Bergman's daughter, daughter I believe. Correct, it is. Yes, yep. phenomenal. Yep. And uh, Lena Wertmuller, who is the most amazing avant-garde, female director, Italian female director. Oh. And the three of them got up. She got the Lifetime Award. The Governor's Award is an Oscar. I saw Lena this week, but Dunham. Yeah, yeah. Halloween costume, she was a bride. Now where? You see, she's, she's you see? Where? Chateau Marmont. You, what were you doing at the Chateau Marmont? <laughs> Having dinner. <laughs> what was it? Yeah, she, yeah. there was oh, a handful, yeah. handful. Because oh yeah, they who was had, there, um, See, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? This is just her regular Margot life. Margot Robbie was having her wow. uh, Halloween party in one of the bungalows. I did not crash. Ah, oh, you didn't crash. Right. You didn't have, wow. Dang. Dina 6 TV here. I figured let me come up and shoot a little Chateau Mermont. The Chateau was made in like 1929. It was loosely based on this French Chateau. And uh, it's super, super cool. There's like 63 rooms. It's historically famous for actors either on their way up or on their way down. You know, of course, you know that uh, John Bellucci died in Bungalow 3. Britney Spears had her famed breakdown in here too, also. And then Sophia Coppola shot her film that was made in 2010. You know, it's in a lot of songs and books and art. You know, James Franco uh, made Chateau Marmont part of his exhibit that showed in Mocha. Yep, but now Lena Dunham was actually eating in the restaurant wow. with a whole group of friends. Wow. And she was dressed as a bride. Gorgeous. Hi. Hi. Oh, sorry, we have a new policy. Oh, okay. 
Your daughter's so funny. Oh, the comedy growing nowhere. That, yeah. The comedy growing nowhere. That's a good we look. tried to hustle on it, but it didn't work. No. Could you get on it? Don't tell me if you did. No, did you get a cameo? No, no. Because no, I wanted no. to play one of their mothers on that show. Yeah, I know. I didn't get on that one. I get on here, we wait. You were supposed to brainstorm career goals. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Yeah. Oh. So nice, is it? Release the energy. Oh. Yeah. Stop it. Dance with me. It's romantic. You need chops. We're going to come up with the perfect company and then just skyrocket to greatness. I will forego all rent owed if you agree to join my team and work for me. My niece, Sophia, she turns eight. We're having a hard time hiring performers. Hey guys, my name is Olivia Baptista. Hello. Hi, I'm Olivia Baptista and I am an actor, writer, producer, nerd. I'm sorry Christina and I couldn't make these videos together. Um, our schedules just didn't line up, so we really had to record them separately. Hi, I'm Christina and I am an actor and singer from Australia. And I am one of the co-creators of Growing Nowhere. Olivia is probably going to tell you that our schedules didn't line up, but uh, I want you to know the truth uh, as to why we couldn't film this together today. It's because we can't stand each other anymore. Yeah, working together creatively ruined our personal relationship. But I want you guys to know we love each other very, very much. And we are the best of friends. Prior to Growing Nowhere, I'd say we were the best of friends. We did everything together. We slept in the same bed, no funny business. Um, ate the same food. I even cut my hair to look more like her. And, you know, all that ended pretty quickly after we wrapped Growing Nowhere. Growing Nowhere is about two 20-somethings who are trying to navigate the job market while doing as little work as possible. In all seriousness though, this was one of the greatest projects of my life. Olivia's probably gonna cry when she sees that. Um, but it was because I got to make something with my best friend and with a group of really talented artists who all gave up their time and, and efforts for free to be a part of something that, you know, perhaps wasn't supposed to have the, the greatest like gravitational um, uh, message, but just to have fun, which is why when I was a kid, I wanted to be an actor. The show is really fun and the comedy is so silly. We made the show because Christina and I really wanted to showcase our, our comedy and how we are funny together. I really love writing short form content, uh, anything that's like under 30 minutes, usually around like 12 to 15 minutes. My debut series, Here We Wait, is a sci-fi series that takes place in a restaurant, which you eventually learn is purgatory. Uh, it's about the wait staff who are all from different time periods and different walks of life and different sets of ideals and just sort of how they deal with eternity. And for some of them, eternity is paradise and for others it's their it's their hell and just how do you live if you can do it forever?
That series went on to win numerous awards around the entire world. Uh, it's available to watch at herewewait.com or on Stika TV. Check it out. It's like my baby. It's my first series. So, you know, they say you love your firstborn more, and I do believe it is true. Marilyn here again. Yes, this is me, the celebrity star whisperer. I know Tina gets so excited when she hears who I see every day. Um, she wanted me to talk a little bit more about it, which I, I really can't. It's not something that you could learn. It's just something you're born with, and it just happens to me all the time. Wherever I am, I either run into a celebrity, trip into a celebrity, um, standing next to on the line. Um, it's always pretty exciting. You never know who it's going to be next. And um, it, like I said, it's just something that happens to me all the time. Uh, this week, I believe it was Zach Woods from Silicon Valley, if anybody watches that. We were both standing online at the Earth Cafe in Beverly Hills, ordering our lunch, coffee and teas. Um, and then also on the same avenue I ran in from Rob, from Robin Big, if anybody remembers from the old MTV days from the Robin Big show. So far, that's what we've got for today. I can keep you up to date on my next viewings and sightings, and peace out for now. I'm in the toilet of the famed Chateau Mermont, and of course, we weren't allowed to film. I got into the restaurant and they asked me to, politely asked me to shut the camera off. It's a beautiful building. I get to walk around and check out the building when there's no cameras allowed. But uh, yeah, this is the Chateau Mermont. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay, gang, Dina6TV, take care.